Hokie dokie. In this problem, we are given three statements and we are going to identify which ones are true. Number one. F of t equals e to the t has exactly one antiderivative. Well, let's see. So if we found the antiderivative, say capital F of t of e to the t, we know that the derivative of e to the t is e to the t, which means the antiderivative of e to the t is e to the t. However, the antiderivative could also have a plus c. It could have a constant, which means maybe that constant could be plus 7. Maybe that constant could be plus 4 or plus 9 or plus 22 or whatever. I think it's that constant that allows us to have more than one antiderivative as the or one more than one function as the antiderivative and so i think this statement is false so let's move on to number two the integral in other words the indefinite integral from uh, of 2x plus 5 dx is x squared plus 5x plus c so the question is, if we took the derivative of this, do we get this? So let's do it just by hand here. x squared, if we take its derivative, we bring out the 2, leave the x. Exponent becomes, not negative 1, sorry, positive 1. And then if we take the derivative of 5x, we get plus 5. And then derivative of a constant, 0. So we're looking at 2x plus 5. That matches 2x plus 5. So 2 is true. All right, number three. The indefinite integral, that's why I kind of stressed it in the last one. Indefinite just means an integral that doesn't have boundaries. So usually you'll see boundaries here. I think we saw it actually in the last quiz uh, talking about areas under curves. Um, so indefinite means that there are no A and B values. Um, so they're saying the indefinite integral of f of t with respect to t represents all possible antiderivatives of f of t. This is kind of just a definition type of statement, and this is a true statement because, uh, you know, when we see the integral of f of t dt, we are finding its antiderivative, f of t, and we always add plus c. And so this represents all the possible antiderivatives of f of t so it's kind of just true by definition i hope the explanation of it makes some sense so we're looking for two and three are correct looks like g is our answer here let's go ahead and do two more which of the following are true indefinite integral of f of t with respect to t represents exactly one antiderivative of f of t well i think we just covered that it's, it doesn't just represent one, it represents all possible antiderivatives. So not exactly one, it represents all of them. So this statement is false. Number two, the indefinite integral of f with respect to t is f of t, or the integral of f of t dt. Indefinite integral of f of t with respect to t. Yeah, I mean, I'd say that's true. That's kind of just the notation for the indefinite integral again there are no boundaries listed here a and b and it uh, just has lowercase f of t dt on the inside so we need the integral sign we need the f of t we need the dt and with all those together that is the indefinite integral number three e to the negative x or the integral of e to the negative x dx is equal to negative e to the x all right well, let's apply the idea that the integral of e to the t is just e to the t plus c. If we changed that t, let's be creative, let's change that t to a 2, oh goodness, a 2t. If we had a 2t on the inside, we would also have a 2t on the outside. We would also have a 2 on the bottom, but we won't go into that. What I'm stressing is that whatever's in the exponent must stay the same from, from function to its antiderivative. So what's inside the integral 
to what's outside the integral. So what I'm saying is this exponent out here should be a negative x, not a positive x. And so number three is false. Just to kind of give you an idea, this, yeah, they did it in terms of x. So e to the negative x, the antiderivative would actually be negative e to the negative x. And I think we'll learn more about why this is later, um, but this is pretty much it for now. So that is a false statement. The biggest takeaway, again, is that whatever's in the exponent must stay the same in the exponent from function to its antiderivative. So only two is correct in this case. Let's move on to the last one. Number one, we have the antiderivative of f of t dt equals capital f of t plus c. Okay, so, so far, this is looking pretty good because I think I wrote that exact thing right here. So that's convenient. So the integral, the indefinite integral of f of t dt is equal to capital f of t plus c. Then they say if capital f of t is f prime of t, lowercase f prime of t. Let's think about what this means. Looking back at this, we kept saying that we're finding the antiderivative, capital F of t, of the lowercase f of t, which means if we take the derivative of capital F of t, we get lowercase f of t. In other words, if we take the derivative of capital F of t, we get lowercase f of t. This does not match this. They are saying sort of the opposite, which makes this statement false. If it had said this instead, it would be true. All right, number two. 3z squared under the integral equals z cubed. So you might say, well, yeah, if we take, or let's treat it like this. If we take z cubed and we take its derivative, we bring out the three, we leave the z, and we subtract one from the exponent to get 3z squared. That does match this. There's an issue, though, whenever we take an integral of some function. Oh, say, can you see? You got to see it. So no C, no true. All right. <laughs> Let's, uh, number three. Uh, T cubed minus six is an antiderivative for three T squared. So kind of a similar pro problem. The question is, if we took a, uh, yeah, if we took the derivative of t cubed minus 6, would we get 3t squared? And that's exactly right, because we'd bring the 3 out, leave the t, subtract 1 to get 3t squared, and then the minus 6 would go to plus 0, you know, it would go to 0, so we would just be left with this. And so 3t uh, t cubed minus 6 is an antiderivative for 3t squared. Break out the eraser to see that only 3 is correct. If you have any questions or you get any other statements that we did not cover here, please let me know.